In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can install Rapid Print Label Printer on your Mac operating system. The first thing you'll need to have access to is the software. So altogether, there are three different ways that you can have access to the installation software. Um, firstly, it should be available on the USB that is now being provided to you um, in the printer package. Secondly, if you don't have access to that or you've misplaced the USB somewhere, you can also find a download link for the Mac software in the description of this video. And if you, for whatever reason, you can't access both of these um, options, you can simply send us an email on ss underscore choice at outlook.com and we'll send you a reply with a software link for the Mac. So there's a video for Mac. Just go into the video, go into the description section at the bottom and Mac software is available there. So just single click on there. You've got the video on the left hand side if you want to download the video to watch it later. Or if you just want to download the software, just click on this download icon and it will then send it to your downloads folder. Open your downloads folder. And there should be a file called rp4xxmark. Double click to open that. And double click and open the zip folder so you should have this file here. Now what I normally do is just drag this file and put it onto the desktop. Just so you've got easy access to this folder. You can double click to run this file. So the first thing we're going to do is install the file. Now, if you get any messages like this, because this application is from an unidentified developer, for instance, um, just click OK, go into your settings, go into security and privacy, and allow apps downloaded from RT Label Printer, click open anyway. OK, so we'll continue. The installation wizard should then start. Click continue. Install. You might need to enter your password in here. Okay, now that the software has been added, we need to go into printers. Click on the plus sign to add a new printer. And from the list, you should be able to pick up RP4XX. Click on select software and you should be able to see wrong to for rp4xx printer that we've just installed in there just click this printer click ok and click add to add this printer the next thing we'll need to do is actually try printing so go into your documents find an application that you can print. I've got a 4x6 label here, so I'm going to double click. So if I try to print this label now, the size of the label will be very small because I haven't set the, the printer size yet. So what you can do is click on File, Print. This paper size here is a 4x6 inch printer, which is approximately 100 by 150. So we need to set this up. You can set this up by going into, just clicking in here once, click on manage custom sizes. And if you don't have anything listed there, just click on plus sign. And then within non-printable area, you can click on RP4XX series. Change that to 100 and 150. Click OK. And that's the default page size that we're going to be using to print any shipping labels for RP4X printer. So you're all set now. You can click on print and that should print out your first label. 